Today in court, a man convicted of crashing his car and killing three members of a Kenosha County family while drunk was sentenced to 32 years in prison. Lauren Linder has been following this case from the start and has more from Kenosha. Timothy Vanderveer could have received up to 132 years in prison, but the Rizzo family tells me they feel this sentence reflects the severity of the case. Deputies say when the crash happened back in April, Vanderveer was driving nearly 100 miles per hour with a blood alcohol level nearly four times the legal limit. Four Rizzo siblings were left without their parents, Vincent and Mary, and their uncle Mike. Their uncle Jerry was seriously injured but survived. Today in court, two of those siblings shared the pain they've experienced these last several months. Then Vanderveer expressed his regret. My last memory that I will have of my mom is with bandages around her head, her face bruised almost beyond recognition. But we are honored to live their legacy and we will do everything we can to continue to make them proud. But it didn't have to be this way. It should never have been this way. I know there is nothing I can say today that will take back the pain and sorrow that have caused the Rizzo family. Think about the family and what I've done to them every single day. The Rizzo family hopes this sentence encourages the community to make better decisions about drinking and driving. Reporting in Kenosha, Lauren Linder, today's TMJ4. And we have followed this story in our ongoing commitment to Project Drive Sober, a station initiative to make Wisconsin roads safer. If you have a question or a story idea, email us at projectdrivesober at tmj4.com.